Today we're going to bring electrical pet clippers, but this has a lot more than just the clippers, all right? So for example, I actually put the nail trimmer in here because first when you have to trim down the nails, you can't see because it's a lot of dog hair, so you could trim it down. Uh, the way it works, this is very quiet if you guys could hear that. Look at that. It's, it's pretty safe nothing happens because it's all it, it's safety for dogs and humans and pretty much anybody that's going to use this you could even do it for humans and trim down your nails and stuff so there's only one speed on this one and to replace this is you you're going to have to push it forward push forward and up right that's how it removes and then you're able to actually just make sure that you fit in the right spots all right for this all right so let me make sure that i'm putting it right properly and there you go that's one. And then you got plenty of clippers. They give you all the sizes and clippers. They, they attach to the back like that, they snap on. Take them off, all right? To remove this one, the same thing, push it forward. And then you're able to do the smaller one too, the same way, all right? So I like that they even have a smaller clipper for the smaller one. Uh, they give you a charging station type C. Uh, pretty much everything's included, including the oil tube, because you're going to have to oil it down, if, especially if you have a dog like I do that has a lot of hair. This is going to need oil constantly, right? Uh, I like that they include other clippers for the different sizes of the actual clippers, all right? So very simple, the whole process. We're going to put it to use, and I'm going to show you how to actually trim down some of the hair and then start cutting it with your actual, uh, with the nail cutter. So this is a great option. And all right, we're gonna trim it down his um, his nails. So we're gonna go ahead and trim some of his ear because he has um, these little pallets here that we need to cut them. Good boy. There we go. Also trim some of his ears. Good boy. Good boy, let's do the other one. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and um, trim more hair with the larger one. His other hand, because we've been trimming some of his, look at this, it's a lot of hair he has. I'm gonna trim his nails, that's why. Oops. It's a lot of hair. But it's good to see in case he has any injuries too, so that's a good thing. Now we're gonna remove this, trim down his nail. Very typical for him. And that's about it. You can use these tools for your arsenal, for your, for your purposes to keep your dog, maintain his nails nice and clean and also, you know, shave them up once in a while. Some of the areas that, you know, accumulates a lot of this dog hair or any kind of stickiness or gums or anything. It's good to actually trim it down. You could obviously see if he has any injury. Right now, he does have an injury. I wouldn't know he had this injury if I didn't shave him. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video.